All right, that was um, A, there was B. To find the vertex, I have um, some choices here, right? There are two things I can do before I do them. What is the vertex again? What are we actually trying to find? Yeah, very good. It's where, that's a very sophisticated way of saying it, uh, it's where the parabola turns around. Another way of saying it, a uh, simple way, is just where's the bottom point? Right, where's the bottom? Um, this one's facing up, so I want the bottom. If it were facing down, I'd want the top, right? But they're the same point. How, how do I f go about finding it? What are the two ways? Somebody hasn't said anything yet. Anyone? Find the y intercept. Say it again. The y intercept. Okay, find the y intercept. I am going to find the y intercept. The reason why I want the y intercept is because I can see I'm heading somewhere. In fact, all of these questions are heading here, right? Um, the y-intercept, I can read it really simply off. How do I read the y-intercept off this equation? Yeah, it's just this number on the end, right? Just that guy there. So y equals negative 7 is the y-intercept. I'll file that away for later. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't end up helping me all that much to find the vertex. How do I find this guy? What am I going to do? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the first thing I can do, one method, is I can say, look, can you see that the vertex is in line with the middle of the parabola? Is that on that axis of symmetry, right? And from the quadratic formula we saw, that's where the axis of symmetry is, right? So I can get this value, that'll give me an x value, and I can pop it in. Um, what is minus b in this case, on this quadratic? It's going to be positive 5. Do you see the double negatives? Yeah, so 5 over. 2a in this case will be 4. Okay, there's an x value, and I pop that back into, what do I pop it into to get a y value? Uh, in that the equation. Yeah, the original equation. Uh, B, try to be as specific as you can, because I have lots of equations flying around. I want that one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, and let's see. So I've got 2, 5 over 4 squared, 5 times 5 over 4 minus 7, okay? Now, you can machine this out if you like, like I'm about to do because I don't have a calculator in my hand, but you probably do have a calculator in your hand, so you can tell me whether I get this right or not, okay? 2 times 25 over 16, 25 over 4. What's this going to be? That's 25 on 8. It, everything's in eighths. What's that in eighths? That's 50 eighths, right? What's that in eighths? I think it's 56 eighths. That's a lot of eighths. Okay, let's see. 25 minus 50 is minus 25. Take away 56. I think I'm getting that. Is someone going to tell me whether I'm right or wrong? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Wait, did I really do that in my head faster than anyone did no, it in my head? Um, um, yeah, no. Did I do something? Where, 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 where? Where? Which line? In that 2 minus 25 by 16, you didn't divide it properly. Didn't I? Oh. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're right. Did I? Yeah? Am I right or not? Someone, can someone punch us in and tell me? Is that the sound that I was right? Or you? <laughs> it's like, wow, that's amazing. Can I get that sound effect all the time? Yeah? No? Yeah, okay. Can you tell me what I did get? As a fraction. 81? Oh, of course you get. Hold on. Yeah, of course you would. Uh, wait, what did I do? Minus 25. Oh, I subtracted. Yeah, of course. I know what I did. All right, there you go. Are you happy with that? Now, before I finish, uh, and I'm going to mention this now, even though I didn't say why before. Why did I write this as 3.5 rather than 7.02? Why is 3.5 actually more useful to me? Yeah. Good. Yeah, 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 very good. When I, um, I have to graph this, right? You can see my mind is always on where is this all heading? Like I'm not just randomly doing this. If I want to graph, I want to know how big numbers are in relation to each other. Now I have no idea how 7 over 2 and minus 81 over 8, how they fit in terms of scale, right? But 3 and a half and minus 10 and an eighth, those I do know. Like whole numbers and their little fraction, I can work with those. All right, almost done. What do I do with this? I haven't answered the question yet. <coughs> I've done a lot of work, but I haven't answered the question. What is the question? Find the vertex, thank you. So what I do is I just take these two pieces of information. You see, it's, it's important not just to be able to crunch numbers, but to know what those crunched numbers mean, right? So they're the coordinates of my vertex. Um, I'm just going to write them down here. 5 over 4 minus 10 and an 8. 
Okay, now I'm ready. Um, thanks to Eric, I already know what the y-intercept is. We found the x-intercepts up in part b. Part b, okay. So let's graph this thing. Alright, you ready? Okay, I've got minus 1. If that's minus 1, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 3 and a half. Uh, and where was my other thing? Minus 7. Okay, are you ready to go? Do you remember what we were talking about was kind of like you're piecing together the clues. I have all the clues I need. As it happens, I've actually got extra clues, but this is all I need now. This vertex, I'm going to draw a horizontal line there. Do you remember why I have a horizontal line there? Yeah, so it's not pointy at the bottom, and because it's got to come down, gently slow down, and then lift back off, okay? So that's what I'm going to try and draw. Um, something like this. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, do we have to put that... Um, this line here? Yeah. Well, okay, um, I suppose the answer is no. However, if you draw it properly, you will end up getting a little horizontal part there anyway. Like it does have to come down, gently slow down, be horizontal for ever so slightly a small moment, and then lift back off. So if you do it before or you do it after, you're going to get the same features. So you're just telling us like guidance so it's like not easy to get properly. Um, yeah, that's exactly right. It's kind of like a tip which, trust me, I've, I've drawn hundreds of thousands of problems in my life, and I've found this to be useful. So if it's not useful to you, just ditch it. But I see a lot of students get this part wrong. Mm. They get the vertex wrong. Okay, so. Um, one, two, three, four points. Anything else I should put on this thing? The equation. Yeah, I should maybe label the thing. Um, 2x squared. There we go. And I'm home. You happy?